Greetings everyone! Here is Gwink! Um, I animation. It went. I will show you how to smoothen out an animation. Now I prepared. Blah, 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 blah. I prepared an animation for you, and as you can see, it is not smooth at all. And don't mind that the camera is smoothened, and I will show you a preview. As you can see, I, I just used like simple elements. I'm, I just show you some examples, and then you can work on your own. Now, first off, what you can see, we will start with the uh, cam rotation. What you can see, uh, hopefully you didn't hear the train. What you can see here is it ends like a prop, and it, it's just uh, no, it's weird. All right, you don't want to use it. It's weird. Just believe it. Why? I can't give you a reason. It's weird. So what you want to do is you want to move this one up so this one already starts to spin right. a bit and then what, what I usually do is I pull this one up so it like overspins but then also like do it right here so it overspins and comes back and right here you can see it is way too high so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this and I should probably start screen cost case there we go uh, you can press ctrl and the mouse button 3 to like move it I like to move no uh, move it so as you can see that is one option but I will not do that so what I will do is I will uh, do it like this and what I basically will do is I will make it end earlier that it feels right. so it still spins a bit and then move this one up like that right. there we go next up is the basically the same thing you move this one up move this one down and make sure you you, you have a like a almost a straight line like like not a gay line but a straight <laughs> not <laughs> no stop it no <laughs> As you can see, that looks kind of good, I hope. And then as you, it ends to a prop as well, to sudden, what we'll do is we move this one up, and move this one down, and make it... <laughs> no! We will not make it straight! Okay, <laughs> so maybe this could be moved up a little more, and this one will down a little more. There we go! And then, uh, so basically this one is the 360 spin. What I will do is usually 14 frames before this marker. Uh, make sure you have set this to AV sync. This is a mistake everyone does because if you set it to no sync, let's say you are lagging. Um, ignore what I'm doing. Let's say you are lagging. And if you play this animation on no sync, you will see it is not sync at all. And most people will say, YouTube made it asynchronous. No, it's not YouTube. It's just you. All right. You set this to AV sync. It tries to still keep up with the frames, so it's in the right position no matter the frames. Got it. Nice. I will delete this. Actually, there we go. And back to the animation. Uh, if you have, so this is like a 180 spin, but it goes, uh, keeps going. So if you have like a 180 spin and it wants to go back, like this one. This, this shows it pretty well. What you will do is you will move this one down and move this one down so you have like a comeback. And that is like that and I will move this right here. And so we have like a fluent animation. And I think this is too fast so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this one one. It can be like one before or in front or two in front of the marker, nobody notices it. Notices it. It's really just by hearing. As you can see, you just really want to have a like a smooth line. Let's say there we go. So that's the X. Uh, that's the Y. And basically, this is the 360 spin right here. And this one is like the 180 where it goes on to the 360, and this one's the 180 going back to zero. Now, you can do this with every single rotation. And why do I have an X rotation here? Why am I weird? 
Well, stop calling me weird, first of all, and second of all, um, this is just for demonstration purposes that it works with every single um, rotation. Now be creative with your animation, this is just really simple. And again, I will move this up, move this down, I will make this not so Shut up! I can't! No. Hmm. You will move this down so it starts off a little bit earlier, as you can see. And then what I will do is I will move this one up, get another frame and move this down to 360 and I will move this further away and if you pull this one, it'll the line will be come later to the end so it doesn't end too early. This one's too prop. Yeah, that looks good. So Moving on to the text animation, you will see that it's super weird, super duper weird, super annoying, super unsmooth and everything. After you have seen what you can do with the animation, it looks super duper weird. What are we gonna do? Well, first of all, the X rotation. You can see it's basically the same thing. What you wanna do is maybe keyframe it and then make it start right here. And you wanna make it come back. Uh, that is way too much. That is way, 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 way too much. There we go. Maybe, hmm, maybe I will not do it smoothen it like that because it looks weird in my eyes. If it looks good on your eyes, do it. Um, I support every single style, but if you want me to rate your intro, I will do it mainstream style. So, enough about that. And there we go. So as you can see, if I move this down, it will be smooth. Maybe that looks that looks that looks okay, I guess. There we go. So I will do the same thing. And right here, right there. Basically the same thing. Right here. So I think this animation is too slow, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it faster. Yeah, and this one's way too slow as well, I think. So... Uh, it looks weird, but ignore it, alright? Because I'm, I'm really too lazy right now. So, um, as you can see, it spins back, bounces back, and then rotates on the 180. Now, what I'm gonna do is the same. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The same thing here. Is I move this up, duplicate it, move it down, and make sure this one is. Oh no! You can't do this to me! Come on! Wait, it, I wasn't even on the frame. It was zero! Oh my god, everybody in the comments will be screaming at me. Holy hell. Feels right. So, let's just have a look at the animation again. And yeah, there we go. That looks good. Back to the Z. Um, what I will do is I will make it start a little bit. That's the marker. I will make it start a little bit earlier. Move this one up. Maybe that is too much. There we go. And then I will mine and I move this down. Duplicate it, move it up. That is not 360, that is. Well, I'm just gonna do it manually. Nope, that is the wrong button. There we go. And I will move this down. And make this faster. There we go. Now, to the individual letter movements, and then we'll be done. So, I have rotation and location. I will turn the location off for now, and I will select everything to have the rotation. Maybe... Uh, wait, the location, yeah. There we go. So, as you can see, it, it ends a prop as well. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select everything. Uh, I can really smoothen it. 
but well, I'll just I'll just do it. I'll just try it by I'll just try to achieve it by moving it. Um, so yeah, that looks good. Moving this up. There we go. And then, whoops. Now to the location. We will. Oh, there it is. Uh, you can press this button right here, numpad period, to jump to the selected marker. Now, what I will do is I will move this one. Uh, I will do S, Y to scale on the Y axis. So, so it kind of moves, still moves up, you know. You know, like it moves up, you know. That's, that's good, you know. Why? Why am I talking that slang anyways? There we go. Um, maybe too quick, so what I'm gonna do is move this one to the left, and then this, only this, to two to the left. Yeah, looks good. Now, general tips, what I always do is, as you can see, it adds, it's, it's really sudden right here, so what you want to do is have it smooth. What I usually do is, I go to the marker where it ends, go one, two, three, like, I vary as well, I... So here three is good, and then I set a rotation keyframe on everything. Set the new set keyframe to the marker and move the original one later. So as you can see, it kind of has a nice flower. What? <laughs> it has a nicer flow to it. That's the wrong, wrong verb to set. Never mind. So I I do this with the location as well. This time it's only two because then it will be too much. Get it? Two? Too much? No? Okay. Well, uh, I move the location right here. Um, maybe even right here. And the same thing for this one. Now I will do three on this. So, no, actually because it's the last one. One, two, three, four. F yeah, four. Oops, excuse me. Um, yeah, I will move this right here and boom and bam. There we go. Smooth, isn't it? So, this is the final animation. Yeah, I think it looks good. And um, hopefully you guys could learn something. I gave you a, a few examples, be creative with your animation, and make sure to smoothen it up. Why? What? 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 You can set two markers? What was that? Well, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And how about you guys smash that like button? Can we hit 3 billion likes? 3 billion f***ing likes, man! No, just kidding. I don't ask. I don't ask for likes because if you guys spend, uh, already spend time watching my videos, I don't really want to ask for likes. It feels bad in my brain, in my body, and I just don't want to force you guys anything. I will give you the freedom to watch, to whether like or dislike. I don't really care. Do what you want. So, anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Have a nice day. Psst. Guys, this is actually a tutorial that I made, how like you can keyframe from beginning. It's 24 minutes long, usually thir uh, blah, 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 originally 36 minutes, but I uh, cut it down to 24 minutes, and the animation looks like that. Wait. It's basically this, the same method, you just be creative what you do in your animation. Now, the smoothening goes uh, to the camera as well. It applies to the camera as well. If you go to the graph editor here, as you can see, what I do is like... Make wee and woom and, and line and boom and yeah. Raindrop, drip, drop top, drop top, smoking on cooking the hot box. Cooking, fucking on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that. Cooking up.